following is available in high definition. Welcome to Mosport International Raceway, where the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series headlines the high-octane weekend of racing at Canada's premier road racing facility. Get ready for the roar of NASCAR. The road to achieving any championship is a difficult one, and the journey to the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series Championship is no different. It's a rough and tumble ride, a game of survival of the fittest, and you've got 13 chances to prove yourself a winner. After two races, the Mopar Dodge of Windsor, Ontario's Ron Beauchamp Jr. leads the Castro Point standings. Today, that road to the championship is filled with intimidating corners and flat-out straights as the series visits its only true road course. The quest to be champion doesn't just lie with the concrete-lined jungle of the short tracks, it also waits menacingly with these grass-lined curves of speed. Welcome to race number three of the 2009 NASCAR Canadian Tire Series presented by Mobile One. From Bowmanville, Ontario, this is the Dickies 200. We're at Mosport International Raceway. What a beautiful day for racing here for the Dickies 200. Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm Dave Bradley. Along with me is Billy Rouse Jr. Todd Lewis is working the pits. And welcome to the Castrol Countdown to the Green Flag, Billy. We return to Mosport, which always provides viewers and drivers alike with intriguing and exciting circumstances. Well, road course racing with these stock cars just works for me, especially here, Dave. It's a very technical racetrack. You know, typically the open wheel guys, they talk about braking zones and passing zones. Stock car guys, they just come to win. And to do that, you're going to see some very interesting braking spots and passing zones here today. Well, we've had two races already in the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series. This is race number three of 13. And Ron Beauchamp Jr. leads the Castro Point standings as we take a look at the standings. He's got a nine-point cushion on the 39 Dickies Dodge of Dave Whitlock. Kerry Mix in the 02 BDI Ford is in there as well. Well, you know, historically, those guys have been pretty consistent here at Mossport, so look for good things from them. But here's the interesting point. The championship leader at this point of the schedule has gone on to win the championship. So look for these guys to be digging pretty hard here today and the rest of the schedule. One driver who's had absolutely zero luck so far this season is a driver, the home hardware Chevy of Don Thompson Jr. He's wrecked twice in the closing laps of the first two races. And with more on the four team and qualifying, here's Todd Lewis. Todd? Uh, guys, the five-time national cast car champion has been pretty quiet this weekend. Don Thompson Jr. has had trouble at the first couple of events and decided he's going to let his racing do the talking for this season. For qualifying, we had two sessions of qualifying, and it was the number 27 of Andrew Ranger from Roxton Pond, Quebec, that came up with a quick qualifying time. For the second year in a row, we have a record qualifying time with a speed of 104 miles per hour even. Andrew, you start out front, you got the spot you want. What do you do off the start to win this one? You know, uh, like you say, it's a, it's a long race. A lot of things can happen here. Uh, we have a really good car. The car has been awesome for the whole weekend long. But uh, the goal is to win that race and to be up in the championship. Well, Andrew Ranger is going to try to score his first victory of the season. 24 cars lined up, guys. We'll have lots of excitement this afternoon. Well, thanks, Todd. Within those 24 starters, four rookies making a start here today. Well, this is a pretty tough place to bring a rookie, Dave. It's so technical. It's so fast. And if you miss an apex on the way into the corner, even the exit apex, you could be in a lot of trouble. Turns 2A and B, very treacherous, a little off camber. And if, as I say, if you miss the entrance over there, very high-speed corner, then you get out into the grass and you've got a pretty much tore-up race car. And with a rookie, you don't want to tear up a car or his confidence because then he's got to contend with that backstretch, excess of 150 miles an hour, and then he's got to get it stopped to come up over the hill. Very tough place to bring a rookie, but it'll be an exciting for them. Well, the drivers are buckling in. The Castrol countdown clock is nearing zero. When we return, we'll set the grid for the Dickies 200 here at Mosport International Raceway. Race number three of the 2009 NASCAR Canadian Tire Series on TSN is brought to you by Castrol Syntec. Unlock the power. By Mopar. Authentic performance. And by Dickies. Go online to CanadianWorkerOfTheYear.ca and enter to win. Well, as the field begins its pace lap here at Mosport International Raceway for the Dickies 200, let's take a closer look at today's starting lineup. On the front row is the 27 of Andrew Ranger. You heard from him already, and starting alongside will be the reigning NASCAR Canadian Tire Series champion, the 22 of Scott Steckley. Row number two is Gary Mix in the 02, and there is the four car driven by Don Thompson Jr. Having a look back to row number three, DJ Kennington in the 17. Good qualifying effort for the 95 of Anthony Simone. 
Row four has Dave Whitlock in the 39, winner of race number one at St. Estache, and Robin Buck drives the 66. Mark Dilley's in the nine. Jason Hathaway drives the three. They're in row number five. Row number six has your points leader, the 60 of Ron Beauchamp Jr., and Trevor Siebert drives the 69. There's J.R. Fitzpatrick in the 84, and Howie Skinnell drives the 56, making up row seven. Row eight has Ken Noon in the 18. Jared Whistles in the 44. And then row number nine has Derek Lynch in the 77. Joey Hansen, the rookie, in the 40. Row 10 has Jeff Lapsovich in the 23. And Pierre Bork drives the Aaron Stream Machine 29. Jason White's in the 21. John Fletcher in the 49. That's row number 11. And then row number 12 is David Thorndike in the 67. And rookie Dexter Stacy in the 55. Well, Dave, as we spoke about earlier, this racetrack has some unique features. Down through turn one is pretty safe. Turn two is off camber. You can get a little scared through there. If you get offline, you got to hit the apex just right. Turn three is fairly simple. Turn four really isn't there. It's kind of nice sweeper heading for turn five, Moss Corner. That's one of the best passing zones under braking. You got to get through 5B clean so that you got a real good power down throttle on 5C heading up the back stretch. We're taking a look at Moss Corner right there. Very important part of this racetrack to get set up for that back straight. And Billy, we just got to report something flapping on the back of the 17 of DJ Kennington. There you see it. The plug still in the overflow tube. Now NASCAR says they're okay with it. The team is okay with it as well. With more on today's field, here's Todd Lewis. Guys, a couple of cars to watch at the back of the field. The 84 of J.R. Fitzpatrick was practiced and qualified by Jim Lapsovich, and of course, because of the driver change, he heads to the back. He'll be followed by Jeff Lapsovich, who had troubles in practice and qualifying with ignition problems. They changed the gear. Those two spoke just before climbing in their cars. They plan to work together to head toward the front. Well, JR, in fact, did run the truck race in Michigan yesterday. But you got to remember, Dave, he won this race last year. He's the defending race champion. Yeah, the 23 of Jeff Lapsovich also has won this event. Some cars carrying onboard cameras include the new ride for Pierre Bork and the Aaron's Dream Machine. We'll ride along with him at times. The prime champ Dodge of Joey Hansen will start 18th today, and he'll ride with our onboard camera. And the lake excavating Ford of Trevor Siebert, who will race in six events this year with his British Columbia-based operation. And Dave, Robin Buck is in the active green and Ross Durabody Ford number 66. Robin Buck, along with a handful of others, have tested here. Well, the Campbellville, Ontario native starts eighth just beside the Dickies Dodge of Dave Whitlock. And speaking of Dickies, Bill McFarland of Dickies with the green flag in hand as the cars exit the final turn onto the main straightaway. They're looking for the green flag. Look at the field bunch up nicely. McFarland throws the green and we're underway here in most ports. Uh, listen to that horsepower heading for turn one. The 27's in the right spot coming up off the corner. He'll squeeze it out there and head for turn two. Steckley had a pretty good jump on the outside. Couldn't make it stick, but he drops back into second position just in front of the 02 BDI Ford Fusion of Kerry Mix. A little bit of contact with the 39 there. Watch this. This is what I was talking about. See how those cars lean over heading for the apex coming out of turn two? You gotta be on the inside. Up through corner number three. Now you can see J.R. Fitzpatrick making moves. There's Ken Noon in the 18 as we ride along with Trevor Siebert sitting in 13th position. Uh, Siebert, a very accomplished road racer. He'll catch on very fast here at Mossport. Speaking of accomplished road racers, your leader is one of them. The Walmart tied Ford Fusion of Andrew Ranger paces the field through Moss Corner down the one mile long Mario Andretti straightaway for the first time as we ride on board with Robin Buck in seventh. Uh, you can hear him up into the high gear in the gearbox. Sit him out in the draft and let him run. It's early on the race. Nobody will be making any real hard moves yet, Dave. But later on the race, watch the draft come into effect and hard braking into that corner right there. On cold tires, how hard is it to dive into turn eight? Well, you know, you're, you're really just up to speed. And besides that, when you go down a one-mile straightaway, the rubber cools off dramatically. Cars sliding through 10 now as they head down the front two to complete lap number one here in the Nicky's 200 at Mostport International Raceway. Just a gorgeous day for racing. Great crowd here as well. Back on board with Trevor Siebert. Oh, Kent Noon was taking a look at the inside of the three car going down into turn one. Thought better of it. He'll wait for later. So Steckley and Andrew Ranger open up a little bit of a gap on the 0-2 of Kerry Mix. You see Don Thompson Jr. sitting in fourth position. And there's DJ Kennington rounding out the top five. As the field pretty much stretched out single file now. And starting to open a gap. But how about J.R. Fitzpatrick now taking a look underneath the 56 of Howie Scannell? 
Well, it's, it's no surprise to me that JR is on the move to the front. He's got a good car. He knows his way around here, and he's got something to prove that he is a winner in this series and can do it anytime he sits in that race car. He's challenging for 14th spot as we ride on 